guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. So far, what we have done is we've been making calls from Postman. So we've been using this Postman in order to call Salesforce. And we have called Salesforce using the REST APIs and all using SOAP APIs. Now, what we're going to do in this section is we are going to call Salesforce from an external application. Okay, so from an external application, we will go ahead and call the Salesforce and we will try to access Salesforce data and we will display the Salesforce data inside of our external application. And this external application will be hosted on your local server. So we will be using localhost and we will deploy this application on the server, on the local server. And from this application, we will access Salesforce and we are going to get the data and we will display that data. So in order to do this, we need to install two things. One is Node.js. This is the server that we are going to host the application on. So this is the Node.js that I will be using. And the second thing would be the Visual, St Visual Studio code. Now you can use any other IDE. I prefer Visual Studio IDE because I've been using it and I like this IDE, but you are feel free to use whichever IDE you're comfortable with. And I have attached a code. So you have to use that code. That is the code for our external application because we will not be building this external application. We will be making some changes to this external application. And I'll give you a quick overview of what this application will look like. Okay. So from the next tutorial, we will go ahead and work on installing these two softwares and we will get the code and we will host our external application on our local server. So I'll see you then. Thank you guys.